But we begin with a watch on my wrist. Small in every way, except for its $25,000 price tag. Martha Teichner examines the Patek Philippe Mystique. Luxury Swiss watchmaker Patek Philippe is discreet about the famous owners of its timepieces. Ostentatious, they aren't. Expensive, they are. We generally start about $12,000, $13,000, and we go up. There are some very complex pieces that are over $7 million. Larry Pettinelli is president of Patek Philippe USA. This particular watch, if you'll listen, has two distinct chimes in it. That's beautiful. Ding dong. Ding dong. How much does that cost? This watch is approximately $400,000. To understand why, you have to turn it over. All the fancy mechanical things it does are called complications. And Patek Philippe watches tend to be very complicated indeed, which is why the company found itself with a problem. People to repair them in the digital age are hard to find. A little bit more, yeah. So the 175-year-old company decided to open its own watch school at its New York City offices. Around 300 people applied, six were chosen. Start by telling me what personal characteristics you look for in order to select students. We need people committed. So commitment is a big quality, I would say. Patience, of course. Master watchmaker Laurent Junot heads the school. We do a training program here that is two years old, but the, the, the learning is not finished. You have to learn all your life. Right now, four weeks into the course, students are learning to make their own tools. They won't even touch a watch for months. Just recently, we were working on some more screwdriver heads made out of brass and steel. Michael Morales loves working with his hands, but had no idea what to expect. My initial thought was, I'm going to be in a small little wooden shop, like, like Geppetto, <laughs> to develop skills I never Straight had Straight out of the Pinocchio <laughs> yeah, the fairy tale. movie. Yeah, the movie. <laughs> the school is free. Students are paid a small stipend to cover expenses. Gammon Kwok had been tutoring elementary school kids. If somebody told me that I'll be training to be a watchmaker a year ago, I looked at them like, what, really? Juan Alonso was working at a men's clothing store. What do you see yourself doing? I want to be as good as Laurent, but... <laughs> at the end of the course, if they pass their exams, Patek Philippe will hire them. They'll move from here to here, to a lifetime of silence and precision and learning. Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a watchmaker. After 13 years at Patek Philippe, Jason Bird works on watches like the one he showed us through a microscope. Every day, around midnight, to change the date. It can tell you accurately what year, what month, what day it is, even in leap years. And it knows it's a leap year, so it'll automatically go to February 29th. And remember, it's mechanical. There's no computer. In this season of smartwatches, Patek Philippe figures its customers will understand that this is a very smart watch and that watchmakers have a future as well as a past. <laughs>